Now, though, we do want to take a closer look at these concerns about young adults not taking safety measures seriously. Joining us right now to talk more about it is Dr. Laura Saunders, a licensed psychologist with Hartford Healthcare. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us again this afternoon. Thank you for having me. You know, I have to ask you, why does it appear like teenagers and young adults aren't really taking this as serious as perhaps they should? Well, what we know developmentally is that teens and young adults really have a very kind of invincible and egocentric view. They do believe that nothing bad will happen to them. In general, they are greater risk takers than, than you know, young adults 25 and over. So, you know, and this is something now we've been grappling with for many months. And I think that there's a, a weariness about the restrictions, especially in a college environment. You know, when we see these uh, images, you know, you see video from campuses here or across the country with kids together, partying, things like that. What is your initial reaction to something like that? As an adult, my initial reaction is um, great concern. And as a, a parent of, of a sophomore in college, it's even greater concern. So, you know, what we really need to do is, is have measures in place at universities where there's, you know, 20% tested or regular testing, there de definitely needs to be measures in place. Um, but it's also reminding each of the students in these situations that they have a sense of personal responsibility. They have some control over whether or not they keep their university up and running, that they, you know, most of these students, especially on campus students, want to stay on campus. Um, so helping them own a sense of personal responsibility can be very helpful. As a general rule, I don't think threatening college students works well with them because then they tend to sort of go in the other direction and be a little bit more oppositional, um, but really trying to engage their cooperation and get them to the point where they have to take responsibility that each person's responsible for their own safety and well-being and for the safety and well-being of those in their direct environment. All right, I have to ask you, we don't have too much time left, but you said you're a parent of a college student yourself. What do you tell your child? What can parents right now watching tell their children who, who may think this won't happen to them? How do you kind of flip it on them and, and show them it can? Well, I, I think it's looking at numbers. So each campus has its numbers. My son's campus has, you know, I get their numbers on a, on a weekly basis. So we know that there's numbers out there. We, I think other part of the invincibility is they just think that, you know, it doesn't really affect young people all that seriously. So they, they see it as not as serious as opposed to a, a pandemic that could really spread to other people. So engaging that personal responsibility and giving them a sense of, of control, the more you do the right thing, the more likely you're going to stay on campus. Okay, Dr. Laura Saunders, thank you very much for joining us again this afternoon. We appreciate it. I'm sure we'll see you soon. Thank you.